I don't. Yeah. Here we go. Right, let's go. Away you go. You take it, Charlie Dixon's rested and ready to go? Yep. What about Connor Rosie? Uh, we'll wait and see. I mean, clearly it's a short turnaround, five days. We'll um, we'll give it to the very last minute to figure out where he's at. But if there's any any danger, we, we won't play him. Again, pretty good. Well, we have, sorry, you haven't practiced in predicting whether Connor will play. Yeah. How uh, you got well, I think this one's different. This is not soft tissue, so this is a you know a manage more manageable injury, which is um, uh, something that it'll be a little bit more pain than danger with hurting it again. It's just and, and with the um, you know we go into the bye the week after. It's plenty of time to recover and rest after that. So we'll be bullish right to the uh, right to the moment probably. How many get back that bye, Ken? The, the chance to give them a proper rest as well. Um, well, it's a big it's a big factor for everyone when you. Your one and only opportunity comes up in a season. You want all your players to get a, a good opportunity, and particularly if you um, you know, if you just sprained your ankle, I suppose it helps a little bit more. But no more than 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 any of the other boys needing a rest, probably. Well, it's a different injury, but you obviously took some learnings last time out of um, deciding to play, and you felt yourself that you, that you got that wrong. Does does that factor into it? The fact that you, in your words, set him up. Yeah, as, a, as I say, I say it again, it's a different injury. It's a totally different injury. I mean, th that was a soft tissue and. My knowledge should have been better and, and good enough to know that that's that's too big a risk. This is a completely different injury. It's a more manageable injury. It's it's probably, as I said, it's more about dealing with the pain of a, of a sore ankle. Which if you've ever done a sore ankle, they can be they can be sore, but you can actually get through on them. Yeah, he got through everything we wanted him to get through last week at, at Sanford level, so he's available to be selected if we decide to do so. Again, it's an early part of the week, so we haven't done selection. Normally, I can give you a bit more heads up, but. Once we get through training and get through the how they go today and and see how you know Connor in particular recovers and looks and we'll make some decisions will be much later in the week for us. How's what are you, what are you debating on the road? Sorry. How's Riola feeling? He must be frustrated. Ah, oh, no, he's not frustrated. He's, he's understanding. He's got a, um, a small calf injury, which will put him out this week. But again, with the timing of the buy, we think it'll probably only be a, a one week miss for for um, Willie, who's really important to us. He's a very very, very good player for us. Who's in the mix to replace them? He's probably the most important small forward now at the moment. Yeah, for, well, we, we mix and match a little bit. You know, we've played Trav in the forward line a bit. We've got other options that we can play in the forward line. If Connor was available, we can play him forward. Jason's played forward, Zach. So we've got plenty of options that can go there. They're different players to Willie, but you don't, you know, we've only got one of him, so we, we're not going to replace him exactly, but there's, there's other options. When you're weighing up the decision um, out of Barn or Jordan, do you talk to the midfielders about who they And can Va Dante. And Dante as well. Yeah. Do you talk to midfielders about whose service they prefer particularly, or is it more just about? Yeah, we've got enough knowledge on that. I don't, you know, we Josh would be involved with that conversation with the with the rucks and the mids and, and Matty Lobie. So we'll give us we'll, we would pick the ruck that we think gives us the best opportunity against Carlton to compete. And obviously, with the Coney last week played really well, we expect that he'll probably be up against him and on his own. Connor spent a bit of time forward against North as he was managing that. Even if he does play. No, oh, not 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 as much as last week. Last week we took took the precaution because we and we'd already lost Willie, so we, you know, we had a five day break. So the, the challenge was not to cook everyone who was out there because you got two or three off. So Connor just absorbed some minutes for us by standing in the forward line a little bit. Would you consider bringing Ollie Lord back? Is that the No, nah, not not yet. No, Ollie's a little little soon. <clears throat> he's only played two games back, and he's had an interruption, a bye between one game and the next game. So he just needs a bit of continuity, and three or four games in a row would be nice to see Ollie play. They, um, the National Reserves competition looks like it's going to be pushed back however many years. I mean, how concerning is it when you have a result like he had on the weekend for the, the Maggies in terms of the development of some of those young guys? Oh, no, our, our results at, at Sanford level are not what we want. They're not what we expect. We've had a few challenges. Uh, you know, and, when, and when you get injured at AFL level, that, that stems down the, down the ladder a little bit and it makes it much, much harder for us. And I think both the AFL clubs at the moment in Adelaide are struggling with um, you know, performance at Sanford level. But that's a bit to do with um, you know, your injuries and stuff. But we're starting to get some back. We, we think that performance will start to pick up pretty quick. One thing you said last night, it's kind of, it must be frustrating the AFL you know, has these kind of big ticket items that they've kind of you know, competitive balance that they're not really addressing at the moment. You're kind of in the dark about it. Yeah, and that's what I said last night. There's a number of issues that we've got going on that we need answers on. And, and the only answers that we, can, that we can get are from AFL House. They have to come back from the people in charge at the AFL. They need to let us know what's going on. And, you know, that's... I get it, it's pretty busy, they've all got plenty of things to do, but you know, when you're planning for what's coming, we, we've got to have some answers and we've got to have them pretty soon. From a senior coaching perspective, how, I guess, disadvantage are you and you know, the two SA clubs 
from this, you know, this model yeah. of not having a national reserve. So I don't want to talk about individual stuff and I don't want to make it about Port Adelaide or you know, WA or Queensland. I think there's issues in our game that are bigger than just a club. I think the issues that we have at the moment need to be solved. That's what I think. Have you or do you sit down with your recruiting life throughout mid-season draft or is that purely up to them? Yeah, no, we, we'll, we certainly have been chatting and we've caught up and had plenty of conversations. We're in the position right now that we can... We can, if we want to, have a pick in the draft. Whether we do, we'll be still decided. If you, will you make that that's a last-minute call? Or yeah. yeah, well, again, the player, if, if you're looking at a player, you're not going to be looking at lots of players. But if there's a player that you think can help us and improve us and help us through the back end of the year because we've lost you know, a player like Pep, we'll, we'll, we'll look to see what we can do. Is that player someone on the Magpies list, do you think? Uh, not, not, not for me to answer right here, right now. So it's a, you know, the answer you've got to have that is Jason Cripps and, uh, and his team because they're all over all the options. We're not just all over, you know. You might think it's just in South Australia, but the, it's in, we can draft from anywhere in the country and we'll pick the best player available to us and a player who we think can help us, can if this, we pick. Can this game's got always some human element to it? The fact that you coach against Michael Voss when you had such a long association with him, what, what does that add to this game in the sense that you nah, have no. rapport with him and what's it like coaching against him? Not much, other than they're a very good team. Um, you know, it doesn't make any difference to Bossy or myself, I don't think, about we just need our teams to play well. And, you know, Carlton have been a really, really good team for the last um, good period of time now, and we know how hard they'll be in the contest. They will play like their coach would like to play, I think. So that will be pretty physical, so we've got to be ready for that. There's an emergency going down to Hobart. Is Tom close to maybe getting a day? Well, he went down to Hobart, so that makes him, you know, part of the conversations. And we've had conversations, and uh, you know, he's still got plenty to learn. Uh, but is it is it perfect for him to come in and play right now? Well, sometimes you don't get perfect moments. You just got to take your opportunity. And if we decide to play any of our younger players, we'll let you know. Glenn, defensively, you've been sound over your journey here. How have you in fair body of work now to assess how the new fellows have, have slotted in? How do you, you know, how do you sum up? Yeah, I think we're going okay. I think you know their win-loss record would suggest we're doing okay in in most phases of the game. I would have thought we haven't always been perfect. We've had some challenges at different times, whether it be defence or offence. You know, we've let some goals get through that we perhaps would prefer not to, and we've missed some that we'd prefer to kick. So, uh, you know, you can only go by where you sit currently. And for us right now, you know, we've put a good body of work together that um, puts us in a healthy position. But God, it's a close competition. You don't need to slip. Just from following up from that. Is this the sort of, I mean, you got the Cherno and McKay, is this the sort of game that you've recruited these fellas for? Yeah, and I, look, I think certainly there's no doubt about that, that they, you know, when you come up against the size of those two boys and, uh, and the talent that they have, yeah, there's certainly the reason we, we went looking last year to find some players to, uh, to help us in that area. You know, and I thought, you know, Asaba last week was enormous on Larky. You know, he, he didn't kick a goal, I think, for the first time in 26 or 7 games, maybe more. And that, that's a that's a pretty strong performance. Is there no bigger test from a key defensive um, key, key defensive perspective than those two? Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, you know yeah, certainly not this week. <laughs> there's always a test. There's there's ne there's never an easy game. It's and whatever the personality. Yeah, I get the two the two key the twin towers down there, but teams have got good players in them. There's a whole involved can be a discussion around that. Are you, are you hoping the AFL can sum up make some tweaks in no. the season, or is this going to have to wait? What's going to happen? No, again, that's not for me. That's you know, that's an umpiring decision. I think it's really hard. As I said, and have said continuously, it's a hard game to umpire. I think holding the ball is a real challenge for everyone at the moment. Um, I certainly don't have the answer, and I shouldn't be expected to have the answer. So, how do you coach your players to understand what the rule is when so many of us are confused? Play to the whistle. That's that's my clear instruction. Play to the whistle. Don't don't assume. Don't guess. Play to the whistle. But are we rewarding the tackler enough? It's not my. Not my decision to make, um, but I, I instruct the players to play right to the end. Ken, when, uh, when the bias rolls around, what do you like to do? Some coaches say, I'm good, we'll go to some nursery and surf as a surf. So <laughs> what do you do? What do you think we do on a couple of days? Like? I keep it to myself. <laughs> do you find is that it, okay? <laughs> do you find it, we've talked about competitive balance and equality, that you can have teams having a bye twice before others even have one? Yeah, again, these are all the issues that I'm, I'm, I'm referencing too. I, I don't have the answers to them. People have jobs to answer those questions, not me. And just a personal level, is there any so-called, I guess, satisfaction to see Orazio Fantasia get a crack at it? Oh, although, given that obviously not, not at this club, but yeah, just a personal level. Yeah, it's, it's, not, through, it's not one of my players. I don't need to worry about that. 